That's why Wolfgang is saying uh, it is not the accident. It is not the dangerous uh, virus that escaped from the, from the lab. It's the vaccinations that we have to be worried about. And it's probably correct. I mean, I can't be the judge of this because I'm not a, um, a medical doctor, but it's probably correct that we really have to be afraid of the boosters. Yeah, well, we, we've learned a lot. You know, you probably have reviewed that autopsy case from Germany just a few days ago uh, that came out. But, um, yeah, we've learned that. In, I'm sure you know all this, but uh, we were told by the Salk Institute and by the manufacturers that, that the lipid nanoparticles and the, the messenger RNA in them stay in the arm. They don't. Yeah. Uh, they distribute elsewhere. Our radiologists know that the, the breast becomes incredibly inflamed in a woman so much that they can't read a mammogram. They've actually changed their mammography criteria, at least in my hospital and I know elsewhere. And that the autopsy showed that, um, uh, in fact, there's a tremendous distribution of, and you, you, you've reviewed it, the spike protein is clearly pathogenic. The gain-of-function mutation, the four amino acid sequence at the furin cleavage joint, you know, there's four domains that code for HIV. We are always wondering why uh, the lymphocyte count is down. The email that went to Fauci that says, hey, Tony, how did you get the HIV coded in there? I mean, you can see that this is going on. This was absolutely by design. Uh, this is a weapon of bioterrorism. And to inject messenger RNA or adenoviral DNA and cause an uncontrolled production of the spike protein in the human body is a very, very bi biologically dangerous proposition. We, we don't know uh, what controls the, the, how the height of the production of, of the spike protein, the organs in which is produced, where it circulates to. We know it causes a unique form of thrombosis, which is, which is a partly hemagglutination because the spike protein attaches to sialic acid residues on red blood cells. Normally, coagulation, the red blood cells are not involved, but here the red blood cells are. We know that, for instance, the Italians have shown that when the oxygen saturation goes down the lungs, it's due to microthrombosis. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine, of course, giving Chinese remdesivir to, to somebody with microthrombosis in the lungs is going to do nothing. And so uh, one person who you may want to talk to, he's kind of flamboyant, but he's interesting. He's got influence, is Steve Kirsch. Steve Kirsch is a millionaire. And Steve Kirsch has offered $2 million publicly to, to say, can anybody show that the CDC, FDA, or NIH has done one single thing correct in the pandemic response? If he can, he'll pay $2 million. And no one, no one has even brought forward, no one's even written him a letter. So, you know, th this is, uh, it's, it's a colossal blunder. And, uh, of course, the news uh, is interested. The news cycle is always um, promulgated by this. But our goal is to take the message to the public to remain impeccable and unimpeachable in our scientific integrity, to always present ourselves uh, uh, very professionally and see if we can win public opinion to have a block of people not get the vaccine. And then once that occurs and it becomes clear I think the other side will be exposed. Yeah. Why did they want this vaccine? Uh, we are seeing safety events it's like you can't believe. You saw the portal vein thrombosis. I've had that in my patients. Uh, myocardial infarctions, myocarditis. I had a woman yesterday uh, in the office. Her memory was completely obliterated oh. after the vaccine. It's just, it's so uh, disconcerting. So we're filling out these safety events. Um, and um, uh, at some point in time, the public opinion is going to have to turn. We have two big populations that are distrustful in the United States. We have African-Americans at 12 percent, and we have Hispanics at 20 percent. And they're largely not taking the vaccine. Mm -hmm. And we're working with African-American churches and making presentations. And the African-Americans say, we know the government was lying to us. So, so th they know um, already. So th that. That's our plan in a nutshell. I think we're, we're really completely aligned. Um, we do need to win big cases, though. Yeah. So Anna, Gar Anna Garner, um, all these people, Mike Rents, we've got to win. I mean, honestly, uh, you think there's fear among doctors? There's fear among attorneys. I am amazed I know. at how many attorneys are so fearful yeah. that they, yeah. they don't, it can't.